So, every brilliant thing tells a story of a girl whose mom was clinically depressed. And that girl decided to make a list of everything brilliant about the world, everything worth living for, as a gift for her mom. Now as that girl grows up to be an adult, the, life, the list takes on a life of its own. And uh, it connects her to the love of her life, yep. and yeah, it goes and, on. And I think it's one of those things then where that, that list um, becomes a point where we uh, are able to enter into a new sense of joy and gratitude for the beauty of life, and, and that's part of the beauty of the script. I'm really excited about the music side, not just because I'm helping with the, the design side on that, but uh, music is really a central part of the relationship between the main character and, and their father. And so uh, if you like good music and uh, you like maybe perhaps even listening to vinyl records, I think you'll identify with kind of this tangible kind of artifact sensibility that uh, is, is that in the heart of the play. And, uh, kind of how music makes us feel and allows us to express things that, that are so important. And, uh, yeah, I just think it's a beautiful part of the part of the script. I am excited about the script because when I read it, I was laughing out loud over and over again, which doesn't really happen when I'm reading something privately, you know? Um, it's really funny. It is hilarious and it is so poignant and um, really just connected with me in terms of where I'm at in life. and. Um, I think it's a story that can speak to anyone. Um, I, think, I think anybody today knows someone or themselves or a loved one um, who has walked through some sort of mental health reality. And uh, the way that this story touches on that um, and invites people into cultivating joy, um, yeah. I, it, it is a remarkably beautiful story, and I just I want to share it with everybody. And, I mean, it's really something to say that it's like here's this this play that's about clinical depression and mental health issues, mm -hmm. and uh, and yet we've just said it's it's one of the funniest things we've we read, and it does that genuinely without treating the material in a flippant or light way. And, and that's one of the incredible things about it. So uh, I think it, it allows us to enter into a discussion which could be really hard, um, but uh, allows us to encounter that. And I, I like how it really opens up discussion for people um, who maybe that's their personal reality that they're dealing with, or again, that, that person, people we know, that that's kind of they're dealing with the depression or other mental health issues. Um, I hope this play provides a space for that. I think it does that well.